Hi, Pisces. All right, let's see what shows up for you. Five of Cups just flew out of the deck. But it is in reverse. So it could be someone who's getting over sadness. Let me pull one for more for them. Oh. I don't, you know what it kind of feels like being excluded for something and then someone invites you after all or thinking like thinking like something is one way and then you realize you had it wrong. You do get the invite. You do get the message. So I'm getting something you're disappointed about. It kind of feels like, like your feelings got hurt. It's actually not that way. You will get a message or an invite or a communication or something. So what is going on for Pisces? You need to be flexible playful you are protected hmm. focus is under the deck one more okay no they're saying be lighthearted something is not as it seems it's okay you're going to be okay i don't know protected is, is that's kind of a strong word i don't feel like you need it i think that your feelings are protected playfulness just means be lighthearted go with the flow so flexible okay let me do this one more though sanctuary maybe you're at home a lot generosity is under there all right Sanctuary makes me think of being home, being happy where you're at with your close friends or your family or your animals, whoever you are happy with. Okay, one more for here. We got unplugged. That card's been coming out a lot too. Work less to help strengthen your relationship. It could just mean work less, have more fun. Okay, so what is going on for Pisces? Overall energy, the four of wands. Something to do with your home, where you live might be important right now. So maybe work from home or start something new from home. Three King of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Under the deck is High Priestess, Ace of Wands. Possibly, I'm just going to throw this out here, there might be new love around you. It could be work, school, where you go, your hobbies, that type of place. It might be an air sign. But let's go back around and see. Oh, that's a tower. Two people, or it could be the same. It's like something you think isn't going your way changes, and you are going to be receiving like the communication, the invite. So, also, so this could be for someone. If you're buying one house, you have your your eye set on it, and then it falls out of escrow or it falls through. The people decide not to sell it, or you get outbid. Don't worry, something better will come along. I just pulled two, six of coins, and the world. Ace of Swords. This is like having this is like being able to save money. See that? Where like it's almost like something's ending, not having to pay anymore. Six of coins with the world and being able to hold on to your money. There could be a bill or something that you like pay off. You don't have to pay out anymore. It's interesting because the king of coin with the strength card could be someone who's asking for money, but they're not gonna get it. Like it could be a um bill collector or somebody like that. I feel like some of you may be in a lawsuit or something where you're supposed to be paying for something. You have a lawyer. Lots of the King of Swords can be a lawyer, cutthroat lawyer. Good one. And they're fighting for you. Someone could be fighting for you or defending you. And again, pay, two of cups just means it's a, um, I don't want to say partnership, but you know, client relationship. I can't think of the words, so whatever. Anyways, that's probably not going to resonate for a lot of you, but I do see something like that going on, like some sort of litigation or, you know, needing to pay something, going to court saying, I don't want to pay this. This The cadastro with property, property lines, neighbors is the first thing I'm seeing here. The king of coin can be the other person or the other person's lawyer, but uh, might be the judge. But anyways, if it's not that, because it's probably not for most of you, but. This could be an ex. And this King of Swords could be like a friend. I'm not getting like, okay, the King of Swords could be love, but it's not new love. It's somebody who's already around you or you're friends with. Um, there is some sort of like, again, good news with this Four of Coins. Holding back and being able to move on. Holding on, moving on. So you could definitely get some resolution this coming week. Something that makes you happy, that gives you peace here. This could be a conversation with someone. Ace of Swords can be a conversation with an ex or somebody that you or someone you work with something like that about a relationship maybe it's a Taurus so I do see good news here though there's like resolution to an issue and it could be someone else's issue but once it resolves it actually benefits you if that makes sense for some of you that will make sense to you <clears throat> um, so let me see the yes no cards let's go to the yes no cards so think about your question I'm gonna pull two Sometimes we get an answer and then a timing. 
Okay, what is the first one is expect the unexpected. Okay, maybe that's it. Maybe you like this is something this unexpected, something resolves for you unexpectedly. Um, you don't have to. I don't know. Someone could someone could reach out to you out of nowhere that you haven't spoken to in a while. Could be some healing or clarity. One more, please, spirit. One more. Okay, I got two more. So I got a yes, and then I got a don't get stuck on the specifics. Okay. You know me. If I'm, I would just sit here and keep pulling cards to try to figure out the message. So they're telling me that it's something that's kind of broad for you. It may not be exactly what you're thinking. And, again, I may not be able to interpret the cards exactly as what's going on in your life. So I guess I have to leave that there. Um, as a Scorpio, though, I would like to keep going. But I'm going to pause that. I'm going to see anything else going on here. So, again... Good news. Money. I think it has to do with someone could be reaching out. Someone that has been watching or looking at the situation possibly that's been holding back up until now. It's going to come through probably a text. They want to talk to you, connect with you. They need to talk about something. Could be wanting to set a date because the card says setting a date. So it could be like a business date. But yes, it could be love, a date, but it's unexpected. And one more. Someone is single feeling lonely and it's surprising there's a lot of signs and synchronicities about maybe possibly a breakup or an ending some of you could have an ex who is like you don't even think about them or talk to them or anything and they're broken up and then they want to come and talk to you and set a date I don't know how you would feel about that the cards make me feel like you would be happy so again, maybe this is something like again, very like out in the field, a message from someone like you weren't ever ever thinking about them. And here they come. What else does Pisces need to know? Ten of Cups, Page of Cups, High Priestess. Someone from your past who could be longing for you or thinking about you. It's under the deck. Someone who may have an offer, maybe it is a relationship. Offering the Ten of Cups with you. Maybe you're surprised to find out they're single or they're surprised that you're single or something like that. What is the signs and synchronicities? What is the signs and synchronicities card? Page of Swords flipped around, so I'm going to take that one. But there's a, somebody who's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, very specifically, who's been thinking about you, watching you, and feels very weighed down. They could even feel guilty, Pisces, about the ending, the way things ended, possibly. There's, they used to be in their ego, and they're not anymore. Knight of Cups is under the deck. This could be, for somebody, this might be a feminine, and this might not be love. Like it could possibly be family or something. But there's a death of the ego there with the Six of Wands and death. They no longer want to play the game or be harsh, or maybe they, you know, they could be going through some sort of situation, the death, a, a sickness, and it's made them change your point of view. So let me grab this deck. Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? be a new beginning of someone who's returning someone who maybe is chasing chasing running running chasing dynamic who finally ran off and withdrew pretending but now they have some sort of realization they're at some sort of breaking point and they're just sad and they've been trying to escape that sadness so again someone who <clears throat> So maybe I get it feels guilty about something. So, all right, that's I could play out again different ways. I'm just reading it for love since that's how it's probably going to manifest for some of you. Again, it does look like though this could be some sort of you know court case or litigation or you know some something something to do like that with your um work or even family or something. Outcome is you get to move on. Victory, Nine of Cups, holding on to money and leaving, going somewhere, or moving on from the situation. The situation is resolved. So this is good. All right, so anything else for Pisces here in closing? Anything else for Pisces? We have healing. Perfect. So something here could be healed and taken care of. So I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Have a great week.